What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, Michael B., and I'm here with Michael B. Hmm. Anyway, we're doing a stipulation draft. This uh, might be one of the last few courses. I might do one more. I don't know. It's course at Cube. It's actually pretty fun. It's way more fun than I actually expected. And um, the original is 11 hours. Oh, I didn't know that. We were talking about uh, Stephen King's It and uh, how I've never seen it. I think that's the TV series version, though. I think there's like a movie cut, there's isn't definitely, there? Well, there's a movie. I downloaded the movie. You never saw the thing? It's amazing. That's pretty good. So we were talking about the thing and it uh, and how I haven't seen either of them, but those are like classic movies that I really just want to watch to have them in my uh, my repertoire, if you will. Your lexicon? Um, sure. Sure. Um, 323 Raiders from a boy, Ali Eldrazi. That is a good dude. That is one of my besties. And um, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. So the stipulation here that we're doing. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is <laughs> this is actually pretty hilarious. What are those in-between ones? <laughs> um, uh, those are those are wolves, the little wolves howling. Oh, okay. Um, the stipulation is priority one. If there's a legendary card or planeswalker in the pack, we have to take that. If no legendary card is available, we have to pick something that references a character or a location. So, Ajani's Chosen, Soren's Vengeance, Augur of Bolas, Sarah Angel, etc. Wake. Right. Priority three, if none of those are available, you must pick a card with a famous character or location either shown in the art or in the flavor text. If there's none of those, I just use my best judgment and try to pick one and justify it as on theme as I can. What's going on, guys? Thank you, uh, thank you for coming coming over from Ollie's stream. If you guys are hanging out, the wolf pack is here. Apparently, that is that is the thing. Yeah, that is Ollie's thing. Two of eight. I should have done this. I should have jumped in. See, if I jumped in before I started explaining the stipulation to save time, it would have been a seven or eight, and then it would have just fired immediately. Um, what happened to Snowfire Top Ten thing you guys used to do? You had the little girl down and then you never did another episode. Uh, Magic TV, if that's what you're referring to, which was top eight, not top ten. Um, I don't know. I haven't been writing for Channel Fireball for almost a year now. And uh, we did stop doing Magic TV toward the end of last year. So I couldn't really tell you. I don't know. All good things must come to an end. That's uh, That's what Thanos says. Half of all good things must come to There you go. That's a Thanos. Yeah, that's a, that's a Thanos original. Seriously, you guys want any movie I can get it to you? I think we we can get movies. We're not worried about it. <laughs> I can get it. I'll get, you need a movie? I can get you a movie. I'll get you a movie by 3 o'clock. Yeah, look at these cutie dogs. It's hard to tell. They're little cuties. They got they're howling. Oh, I can see it now. Yeah, I was looking at like the nose was like I thought it was the eyeball, and it didn't really work. Tyler, I appreciate you saying so, man. I also I had a great time. Like, that was good stuff. <laughs> you guys need movies? You got you guys? He opens his like coat. You guys need movies? I got movies. I can get you some movies. All good things come with great responsibility. With good things come great responsibility. Well, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem reasonable at all. Uh, what's the name of my current podcast? I don't really have a current podcast. Uh, I do a thing called Frank Thoughts on Patreon, so you get, you can check that out if you'd like. They're just little ten to fifteen minute, I guess, podcasts. Three o'clock. I got your movies in thirty minutes. That's good. That's a good rate. No, the shit I have, you've never seen. Okay, well then, how would I know? How would I want? How would I know to even want that then? Unless that was, unless you were just doing a, a movie dealer thing, unless that was just more of a movie dealer meme. I got, hey man, I got, I got movies. This is not firing. I don't like it. Well, four out of eight, we're getting there. It's been four minutes. Good lord. I don't think we've been in this queue for four minutes though. That's true. We've been in here for two thirty-eight. Oh, as they they mention it. He does a thing called Pepper Talk. Uh, yeah, it actually, uh, hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Pepper Talk here with uh, Frank and Mike. If you guys have any pepper questions tonight, you can feel free to just send them our way and you can, uh, Mike will answer them here on stream on Pepper Talk. So send your pepper questions over and uh, 
We'll take care of those. Thank you. Amateurs, dude. I can get you a movie. I can get you a movie by 3 o'clock with a case. Can you get me, um... No. Children of the Corn 17? Yes. All right, Pepper Talk. White Man Project. Welcome to Pepper Talk. Your question is, what really is the difference between the colors of bell peppers? Michael, what are the difference in the colors of bell peppers? Well, you see, the green bell peppers are much... Uh, less, they're they're uh, less ripe, so they they're a lot more bitter, as opposed to yellow and red peppers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, pepper talk. I don't know. If I that's... learned that fact recently. Really? Yes. So we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take the Garrick Apex Predator because it's the it's a legendary creature or planeswalker, and uh, there's nothing else in this pack to take. But uh, we do have other pepper questions, so I'm gonna highlight this card, and we're gonna go to. Uh, uh, what pepper should you eat while waiting in the queue? That is the next question, Michael. What pepper should you eat while waiting in the queue? I suggest a nice... Um, I forgot the name of the pepper. Oh, no. He forgot the name of the pepper. Oh, no. Serrano. A nice Serrano a nice pepper. Serrano pepper. That's what you want to eat. Maybe roast it first? That's what you want to eat I while you're waiting Serrano. in the queue. Maybe a smoked... Maybe it's smoked. Thank you so much for your, pe- your, your pepper question. Ooh, what is the pepperiest pepper? Hmm. What's hey, listen, buddy. I'm the host here on Pepper Talk. You're gonna answer the questions and I'm gonna ask them, okay? Don't you be don't you be going ahead over my head, my peppery head. Well, you okay? thought you were gonna miss it. Listen. The next question here on Pepper Talk is what's the pepperiest pepper, Michael? What is the pepperiest pepper? <laughs> That's a good lip thing you had to go in there. Thank you. I'd say the most pepperiest pepper is probably The jalapeno. The jalapeno pepper. The jalapeno it's pepper. classic, just the right amount of spice. Is the pepperiest pepper. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got 24 seconds here. we got to figure out... I'm trying to figure out... It's got a famous character in the name. Um, this has also a famous character in the name. I want the Soren's Vengeance, but I also think Land of War Elves counts because this is a famous name. Uh, priority 2, if no legendary card is available, which there is not... Uh, is that references a famous character or location. So Lanawar is a pretty famous location in the lore. Got any legends? We do. We have an Icereth, actually, which works pretty well in our in our black-green deck so far. Shivan is more iconic, but we're not here to gauge the iconicness because that would be pretty ridiculous, I think. Um... Okay, Michael, we do have another pepper here. Uh, que- another question here on Pepper Talk. Secret Muffin and Brenda, thank you so much for the resubs, guys. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate that. You're a, fa- you're, you're a famous location. Got him. Got him here on Pepper Talk. We're going to take the ice wrath. But, Michael, the question is, is Pepperidge Farms a producer of peppers? Uh, no, they are not. Hmm. Correct. No, they are not. That is the answer here on Pepper Talk. Thank you guys so much for listening. Are there any legendary? I keep trying. I have to. I have to keep. Uh, I, I keep forgetting to go back to the normal voice, and I, I keep using the Pepper Talk voice. Oh, that is a legendary. Guess we're Jund now. Oh, well, I like Jund. All right, hold on. Do we have any more? <laughs> Barman ATL has a question. Are you ready for our our Pepper Talk question, Michael? The question is: Is the Howie Pepper the best? Is the Hungry Howie Pepper the best? There is no Hungry Howie Pepper, as it turns out. That is a myth and a legend. You heard it here first. The the Hungry Howie Pepper is a myth and a legend. Therefore, if the Hungry Howie Pepper was in this draft, we would be forced to take it as it is a legend. Thank you for your question here on Pepper Talk. Well, this is a legend. This is a legend as well. I guess we're taking this guy. Uh, that's a girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, I guess. Uh, that's a girl. <laughs> okay, you you win. You got me. Wow, Jesus. What is every pack? This is three Chandras in a row. 
Guess we're playing three Chandras. On. I guess we are actually. Chandras on all cur on all points of the curve. I think we have a long pepper question. Michael Michael, listen. Here's a question. Monsonster says, "Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you for uh, your pepper talk support. I really like your show. Thanks for taking my questions about peppers. My question is two parts, so bear with me. I hope I don't take too much of your time. No worries whatsoever. We've taken up plenty of your time in the past, so it's only right that uh, we return the favor." I want to know if I have a real full-bodied white wine, what type of pepper should I use to season the salmon? And what type of pepper should I use to keep the rat dead collectors at bay? <laughs> God, I'll answer part two first. Um, right. You're going to want to get the... Uh, you're going to want to get the habaneros or a nice ghost pepper to get the rat dead collectors uh, keep them at bay. They do not like them. They will not go near them. Much like elephants... As far as what to season your salmon with, uh, I would use a nice habanero, but make sure to uh, de-seed it as to lessen the level of spiciness. Unless you live on the edge, then then go for it. We ended up going with uh, Lurgoif here because Safi, Eric's daughter, is mentioned in the flavor text, uh, which is a legendary creature. So uh, hopefully you guys took care of that pepper talk question and, uh, <laughs> you know. None of these have anything special in them, so. Scuttling Doom Engine or Earthquake? What do you think here? Probably the Doom Engine, right? Um, Actually, maybe it's Earthquake. We have a bunch of Planeswalkers. Alrighty then. Oh, this has a legendary creature in its... Well, it's not a legendary creature, but it does have a, a lore character in it. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Actually, this says Havengal. That is a that is the name of a place. That is also one, but we don't have any enchantments. So I would stone has remain lowlanders. Rooks are thought to be descended from phoenix sacrifice. Um, no. Actually, rook is rook is rook is a place, right? I can take this rook egg, right? I think so. There's no legendary cards. I think we're all out of legendary things. Training post has no. Oh, shiv. Yep, that's a thing. This is actually probably fine and limited, right? In a cube, it's still a five-five flyer for six. It's definitely uh, iconic, that's for sure. I feel like Darkstone Colossus is kind of legendary. City of Brass is a place, right? Mm -hmm. That's literally a place. I'm gonna take this. Rook is a creature, not. A... I guess it does have to be a creature. I don't know. I, I don't that I, that one like I was I just didn't know. Uh, none of these guys have anything, but this says Asphodel in the flavor text, so we're gonna take this guy. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nah, none of these are really. Yeah, we'll just take Undergrowth, I guess. Uh, the most violent destruction ephemera. If this does have a reference to a place, uh, this does not. I'm gonna take the ephemera card. <laughs> Why did he call it the Femoreth card? Actually, we can actually cut the Isereth and just play... We can just be Red, Green, and Splash Garrick off of, like, whatever. Uh, Michael, here's another question for Pepper Talk. I just want to make sure we get all these questions. If you stuff a pepper with a hot dog, does it become a sandwich? If you stuff a pepper with a hot dog... Does it become a sandwich? A no, there's no bread. <laughs> Would, could you not argue that the hot dog is the bread at that point? No, that's dumb. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so... Necromancer, Zathrid. I don't know what Zathrid is, but I, I, I think we have a strong argument for Elvish Mystic because it does have Nyssa Ravain in the flavor text. There's no legendary creatures in this pack that I'm seeing, right? I'm not missing anything. No Planeswalkers either. So we've got a priority two. Pick something that references a famous character or location. Oh, um... Oh, okay, so, so actually we have to get... It has to be the name, huh? Interesting. I don't think we can take anything good here. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to highlight them. It's got to be War Leader, right? 
But that's not referencing a creature. Leonin is not a creature or... It's not a legendary creature or a, a location, though. So that's just a type. Wait. Oh, you're stuffing the hot dog in. So, yeah, the pepper would be the bread. That's 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 weirder. That's that's not less weird. That's more weird. What pepper goes best on pizza, and why is it pepperoni? Um, excuse me. <laughs> are you are you imitating me? Well, do you keep forgetting to bring them up? I didn't hear the. I, I was in the middle of this draft, Michael. Oh, there was a Jason's Mind Seeker. Oh, it does have Jason in the name, doesn't it? Dang it! It's hard because there's a lot of things to consider. We're just taking the Garrick, obviously here. What is Lurgo? Power and number of creature cards in all graveyards and its toughness. That's actually good. That could be good. Okay. Pepper question. Oh. Alternate timeline. And alternate timeline has another question. It's uh, not another question, but this is a second try. What is Dr. Pepper's real name? Michael, the question is, what is Dr. Pepper's real name? His, uh, his real name is Jimbosum Pepper. Jim. Well, Jim. read Stazzle Frazzy's question. I was going to repeat the, the answer, top. okay? Oh, Jesus. I can't do this stipulation. And. All right. So we have to. There's nothing with, with anything special in the names here, I don't think. Mm. Is it just Maze? It might just be Maze. It might just be. Because Mystifying Maze is a location, I guess. I don't know. Honored hierarch, greater good, gather the power. Okay, so no legends again, right? Okay, okay. And nothing that references a place. This is famous character or location. Nothing that I can see. Brushland? Does that count? No, because that's not a specific place. That's just a. That's like it's like it's almost like forest, you know. Okay. I don't even know if mystifying maze counted because there could be multiple mystifying mazes. Like this isn't like. Caracas, the mystifying maze or something, you know, maze of Ith would be a, a proper name. Whereas mystifying maze, this is just, this is just a maze that happens to be mystifying. I don't even know if that counted. Um, no, let's go for flavor text. That's what we're looking for. It might just be greater good. It's got Mary Shelley Frankenstein, but it doesn't say, it just says famous character location, reference in flavor text. It doesn't say it has to be magic character. Plus it's like the only one that does reference anything. So yeah, let's take greater good. Wow, that is a late bribery. Okay, yes, so any legendaries? No legendaries. All right, all right. Jace's Ingenuity. All right, we can take that, I guess. That's rough, though. That's pretty rough. Yeah, I think we have to, though. Yeah, I agree. No legendary. Urborg. Oh, Urborg is... Yeah, that is a land. That is a... A legendary it's also name. pretty good for us alright nothing here rupture spire is probably the pick here why well this sounds like a particular place right oh we gotta go head over to the rupture spire that doesn't sound like it's just a generic thing but also there's nothing else that really you know their flavor text? Yeah. Oh, when wielded by a true believer. <gasps> Stanley's everywhere. There's literally no other. Yeah, Song of All. Song of All. That's not really. Plus, like, if we're playing Jace's Ingenuity and stuff, like, I'd really rather just have the... the I don't stuff. think we're playing Jace's Ingenuity. Oh, I guess that's true. I guess I don't have to play it. I didn't really consider that. Uh, Jace's Sanctum. <laughs> Jace is killing me, man. Jace... <laughs> He has too many things named after him. He does. And they're all coming to Guess us. Guess we have to take it. Yeah, my voice is definitely not... Uh... Oh, look, the Jason's Mind Seeker came back. And all is right with the world. All right. Oh, Tezzeret and then a, a fourth Chandra. I'm going to take the Tezzeret here because maybe we are just more blue. Maybe we're actually Sultai. And by that, I mean Teamer because I just got Sultai on the brain. Uh, we're, nope. Chandra and R. Oh, that's a good one. This has, oh, and this one says Nicol Bolas in it. 
Which one is it? It's got to be this one, right? Yeah, it's probably a better card. All right, cool. Actually, I might just be able to splash this like inconsequentially off of these three. So, <coughs> oh man, throat's getting a little scratchy. That the throat was scratchy that day, gentlemen. Ambassador Laquatus. Actually, this card was kind of hard to deal with. What does it do? Uh, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player returns a creature they control to his owner's hand. Hmm. Uh, no flavor text. Ah, the Great Furnace. We have to take Beacon, I guess. I would have liked it's the Shivan fine. Reef a lot. It's actually not terrible. Uh, Ravnica. That references Ravnica in the flavor text. Yeah, all right. I like that on the sideboard. Sure. Garrick Wildspeaker in the flavor text. Last pick is fitting. All right. <clears throat> How would you rank the Power Level Comparison Legacy? Uh, lower. It's definitely lower, but it's definitely it's still good. Shiv is an iconic location. I didn't think the reef itself was, though. So, actually, you might be right. A lot of these are just the fault of my own lack of expertise. If that's the word I want to use there. Um... It's got to be just Shandra's Phoenix, right? There's no legendary creatures. Nope. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. We have a lot of Chandra's to get this back as well, so. Oh, Liliana of the Dark Realms. I hope there's another legendary creature we can take. There is one. Really, this is not a good Liliana to begin with. I think it's just probably Dwinnin. Dwinnin in. Phoenix is a place. That's true. That is true. Phoenix, Arizona. That was just Mike showing off. He's like, I know cities. <laughs> I'm going to take it to win in here. We're uh, Buckeye 2, Arizona. That's not a real place. You just lost all your credibility. <laughs> it's all gone now. Okay. Anything reference? A Johnny's Chosen? Dang it. That's a white card. That's really bad for us. Correct. Is there anything? Oh, Tower End's Invocation. That's better. Okay. Brando just got paid. Hot peppers rules everything around me. Jalapenos and bell peppers, y'all. Jalapenos and bell peppers, y'all. Oh, man. Good times. Oh, here's Talrand himself. Actually, this deck is looking a lot more interesting now. It's going to have the same problem as the last deck. Which mana. is what? Mana? Mike, stick to peppers. Leave the states to the professionals. Guys, I gotta be honest. I don't know if his pepper his pepper advice is that much better. How dare you! Oh, this is on color. Is it? And we have an Urborg for the black part. I mean, it's it's the only legendary in the pack, so we're taking it. This deck is gas. This deck is something. Gas. We also have two two Rampy guys. This clip is titled Helpless Open Hamburger Kapow. That's a good name. Uh, Michael, Michael, here's, here's another question for Pepper Talk. I just want to make sure we get all these questions. If you stuff a pepper with a hot dog, does it become a sandwich? If you stuff a pepper with a hot dog, does it become a sandwich? No, there's no bread. Would, could you not argue that the hot dog is the bread at that point? No, that's dumb. <laughs> that's, that's good that's good all right so sean and Alar on the flavor text here that's good well isn't that storm tell the dog in the legendary no it's not no man that's oh. just a regular leviathan uh that's just a regular storm shaman yeah i'm gonna take the flames of the firebrand it literally has shonder in the flavor text there's nothing else there that we care about anything legend oh sigh I mean, that's actually we have no artifacts whatsoever, but... Oh, we have Tezzeret. No, that doesn't really, doesn't really matter for that, I guess. <laughs> Had to take it, though. It's still 1-4, whatever. It's not exciting. <laughs> God. You're right. It is not exciting. What is Erd? Hadn't you heard about the Erd? Has everybody heard about the Erd? Da -da -da Erd, Erd, Erd. Erd, Erd is, is the word. Oh, Malima Mara Sorcerer in the flavor text here. That is nice. 
I don't think anything else is referencing anything else. Yeah, so one with that card. Door to nothingness is a place. Yeah, I guess that's true. We have Hurricane and Earthquake now. Ooh, Soul of Zendikar. That does have a... That is a pretty... Yeah, that's a pretty well-known place, I would say. This has Rakdos and Boros and Is it in the in the flavor text. This has no flavor. Yeah, we're just going to go Soul of Zendikar here. Drowned Catacomb. I would like to pick this. Can we pick this? I don't know. Nothing there. Nothing there. Wait. What? Ribbit. That's not... <laughs> Oh yeah, good point. I didn't. Yeah, I guess this is fine. There's nothing else here. Hooray! And this could be a very specific. It's not a specific place, I guess, but I, I still rather have the deck be reasonably playable. Um, no. Bozard. I mean, that's a legend. That's not like that's not a creature though. A car. Oh, Carpluzen. Carpluzen is actually a place, right? Oh. Okay, that's a good talk. Mm. I don't like you. Mm. Troll aesthetic. It's nothing. Nope. Uh, Thopter Spy Network is very, very good. Nothing there. And nothing there. Alright, so I think we're good with picking anything. I like Thopter Spy Network a lot. Does oh, it like you back? The funny thing is we don't have any, any any artifacts to actually trigger this, though. So that's kind of awkward. Doesn't it make an artifact? Uh, if, if you control an artifact, it makes a 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay. Uh, tendrils. This deck is so much gas because too many pepper. That's actually a good point. When Asha left Bant, this has a reference to Bant on it, so I'm going to be taking that. Door to Nothingness is probably... yeah. Let's play it. No. no. Why not? Oh, Sarkon Vol in the description? Actually, that's playable. This deck is turning out surprisingly cohesive. Yeah, I thought so too, actually. I feel like we can take a lot of these guys out. The double greenies? Yeah. yeah you're, you're we going. should just cut green entirely, basically. Oh, wait. we Can we? No, not really. I mean, we can. We need three more playables, though. Has everybody heard? We got Earthquake for one. Okay, put Earthquake in. And also, Thopter Spy Network is not great without... Um... Oh, yeah. Probably cut that. <coughs> I mean, it's good with Tezzeret, because once you make one, then it, you keep going. Eh, that's pretty loose for a four man to do nothing. But I mean, like we have three ways to to play green cards off of these. So let's cut the for spy network. I also don't like earthquake. Here. And add in the greens. Maybe I do like earthquake. It kills this and makes us a four four. It also doesn't kill floaty boys, which is good. So I think like Soul and Garrick is already playing black. Maybe this Garrick too. We have two creatures that care about creatures in the graveyard, which is interesting. We have Lurgoyf and Underground Scavenger. Lurgoyf. This is 23. It's probably fine. It's a little loose, but it'll do. So this is actually one, two, three. This is four black sources for two black cards. <clears throat> so I don't think I actually need a swamp. No, we definitely don't. Uh, four, five, six, seven blue sources, five, six, seven, eight red sources, three, four, five, six. I like this a lot, actually. I think that's good. Also, beacon's not bad. It deals five to any target, and then you shuffle it back in. Yeah, it's fine. Psy is a horned turtle, actually. Psy is pretty rough in this in this deck. I'm not going to play after it. Really better though. Like we might just need a horn turtle in the deck, just to block. Also, if we if we get out Tezzeret, like it just does a little more. I guess we'll just play it like this. Yeah, the problem with splashing two double green is that they're powerful enough that it should be okay. <clears throat> and we can also go Garrick into Garrick, which would be nice. Um. And uh, you know stuff things turtles did you know that every rose has its thorn 
Mm, tell me more. That every night has its dawn. Go on. Tell me about the cowboys, Michael. <laughs> well, you see, they all they all sing a sad, sad song. Go on. That's all I got. It's a cool story. This actually, this actually hands pretty good. <coughs> we can cast pretty much everything. We have double green, double red, double blue, double black. Tor triggers sigh. Which pepper is the best cowboy pepper? Which pepper is the best cowboy pepper, Michael? Welcome back to Pepper Talk. I am your host. And uh, what pepper is the best cowboy pepper? I think that would be the <laughs> big rotating device that blows air. <laughs> That's great. I believe that would be the jalapeno pepper. What is the what was the question again? What's the best cowboy pepper? Oh, you think it's the jalapeno, huh? Yeah, I think so. It's very classic. Ah, yes. I thought it would be the spur pepper. Mm. That's not a pepper. Yes, that's correct. I was testing you. You won. I believe it's... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Every rose has its thorn. When I was a kid, I thought it was Guns N' Roses' song. When I found out it was Poison, I was mad at Brett Michaels until like the fifth grade. <laughs> wow. How dare you? I like this curve, actually. We got Rook Egg into Tezzerin into Jace's Mind Sculptor into Nicol Bolas. I, I, what could possibly go wrong is really my question. Nothing. Nothing at all. I feel like that's correct. I'm a little afraid of what they're going to name. They're going to name a soldier, I bet. It's going to be really scary. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, next question is from Spaghetti Toucher. Oh, my God. Uh, the question is, I'm a pepper, Michael. Can you milk me? I'm a pepper. Can you milk me? Uh, you can't milk peppers. Can you milk him? No. All right. Jalapeno again? Wow, add some spice in your life. Get wrecked. Well, they asked me the question of what's the most cowboy pepper, and it's clearly the jalapeno. What am I supposed to... I ain't gonna lie, Craig. The jalapeno. You heard it here first. <laughs> it is clearly the jalapeno. <laughs> Look at this. You go from Adoptum Automaton for Thopter into Ambassador Laquatus. What are you even doing with your life in France 1477? Maybe they did, a, they did a step as well. We can actually play this guy. And then next turn play Nicol Bolas. How do you feel about that? How are we doing Pepper Talk without the Pepper Hat? Oh my gosh, we forgot the Pepper Hat. Uh, that would be your job, Pepper oh Hat. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're going to have to do that, I think. No, don't do that. Yeah, this is good. This is real good. Don't don't man like me, bro. Oh, biscuits, create a beast boy. Wouldn't it be nice if we would? That's the Beast Boys. Uh, that's a from the sixties. The Beast Pepper Boys. I like that this Rook Egg does not have Defender. It could just attack. I can just I can just hit you up. We get to play Nickel Bullets next turn if this Garrick survives. Oh. <clears throat> I'm about, about to bust. bust. <laughs> Apt. Here's a question from Hodge Gulashi. How do you feel about pep people pronouncing pepper as peeper? As someone with a... Uh, uh, as a record of a, being a sexual deviant, Michael, how do you feel about pronouncing pepper as peeper? I, uh, I plead the fifth. Okay, well, that's too bad. That's unfortunate. <coughs> Guess we're going to just have to cast this guy. One, two, three, four, five. This is actually sad. Yeah, when they pacifism your egg, it's a good for it's, you. <laughs> well, not when they kill our Garrick, though. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, no is right. Wouldn't it be nice if we... You're still laying the inevitable. 
All right, what does this do? Mills the top five, and you may cast an instant or sorcery. All right, let's do that. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Don't force spike me. I will cry. Let's see what we got here. Essence scatter. Confiscate! Did we really hit a confiscate? Wait, it's instant... Instant sorceries. Oh, I got so sad. Oh, that's sad. I'm having a bad day. That's sad. I think peeper is a director term for someone who eats peeps all year round. Wow. <clears throat> um, I I eat peeps whenever I can get my hands on those cute little cute little scrum diddly umptious. You like peeps? Yeah, dude. I like all the controversial candy. I like Peeps. I like candy, candy corn. corn. You, I bet you like black licorice, too. Oh, I do, no. I don't like black licorice as much, but I do actually... I don't hate it. I wow, had, I do like all the shit candy, don't I? I haven't had licorice in a long time, so I don't remember if I dislike it or not. I'll have to get some. What about circus peanuts? No, that's... that's No, that's garbage. That's where you draw the line. That's where I draw the line, man. I, do, I kind of just want to play Tesseret and start making dudes. Do you like grape licorice? What even is a grape licorice? That sounds like delicious, right? Is it grape flavored? Because I like oh, that. Candy corn is grape peeps, not so much, huh? Okay, well. <clears throat> Austin baked beans? Oh, I forgot that was a candy. It's because they're weird. I can play both of these. This one, two, three, four, five. We're one man away from this guy. I kind of just want to draw a card but I really don't I really just want to get more board stuff on the board we're definitely hitting this Tez this Ajani here candy corn more like crack <laughs> that's right <clears throat> that's right all right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to play Talran's Invocation. How do you feel about sushi burritos? Jesus, well, this dude doesn't like fish, questions. so I don't think he's going to like that. That's my guess. Uh, if it's like a sushi burrito with uh, avocado or cucumber or like tempura, I would eat it. That sounds delicious. Sushi implies... I get veg oh, dude, just vegetable sushi, you dummy. Yeah, but when someone says it's a sushi burrito, it's just not going to automatically assume it's a veggie sushi burrito. I just did. Hmm. What do you think about that? Suck on them eggs, Michael. I didn't even know sushi burritos were a thing. Is that really a thing? You're a thing. I really want to nickel bolus and steal one of these guys, but I don't think that's going to work. This is a 4-4. Four -four. I'm just going to block. Or 1-4. <clears throat> Is a sushi burrito just like a big piece of sushi? Sushi, 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 sushi. Oh, oh, oh! God, our mana base is lit, dude. I think we got there. I don't know about being lit. It's lit af, bro. It's the littest. Come on, let me let my let my damage resolve. <clears throat> Next turn we can play Nickel B. Destroy your planes, Walkie. Oh, this guy makes them unblockable, though. Mm -hmm. I guess you have to tap two to make one unblockable, so that's fine. I'll deal with that. Does Mike have a burrito form? Please. His whole life is his burrito form. That just looks like an uncut roll of sushi, does it not? Yeah, it just looks like a sushi roll. I'm pretty sure a, a sushi burrito is literally just a sushi roll that's not been cut. Is like more rice? I think they're trying to be all sneaky. They're like, hey, look at this new invention. It's a sushi burrito. And you're like, no, Like, bro. you just add more rice to my sushi. You added more sushi to my rice. That's from, like, the peanut butter and... Yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay. We're having a good time. <clears throat> So here's what we're going to do. Are you ready? Are you ready, Boots? Michael. Singing the song of my people. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, what's even happening right now? I believe they're taking another turn. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. <coughs> so they just get to kill our Garrick now? That's cool. I don't think it's cool. I, I agree with you. I might have been... Alright, Pepper Talk is over. Pepper Talk is never over. Pepper Talk's over when I say it's over. God, stop killing my things, man. I thought we was friends. You thought's wrong. I did thought's wrong. <clears throat> I guess Garrick prevented six damage. I don't know. Wow, and the captain of the watch. Alrighty then. Alright, that's not that's not what we're looking for here. What are you doing, man? You trying to get that pepper to stay? Yeah. I don't want it to run away. Boom boom ba 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 boom 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 boom. Let's draw a card because we are desperate for a land here. Oh, that's not it. Jeez. Billy Biscuits. Oh, we're playing Grug Sanctum or J Sanctums? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why do we have that garbage in our deck? I don't know, man. Garbage day. <laughs> we have Earthquake in our deck, right? Yes. Mama shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. <laughs> you alright? Why did you say it? Michael no. shark doo 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 doo. <clears throat> oh my god. Just stop it. What does that thing do? Whenever they play a creature, they can pay one and return a creature to our hand. Seems good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Michael, that's correct. You are right. Stop killing my planeswalkers, bro. I think we're dying. I think we're just fine. Land! Land! <clears throat> oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be three lands already. Okay. One land. One, two lands. Got one more land. We did it. We... Hold up. Hold Wait. Up. Shut them down. Open up shop. Different rap song, but That's yeah. That's rough riders roll. Actually, it's funny because if we had a time warp effect, we just went on the spot, right? We could just deal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time warp. Do it again. <coughs> well, we don't. No, you're right. And we can't. where they go manatide you stupid <laughs> I kind of want to gain control of this but then I kind of want to gain control of this too <clears throat> I don't know what to do what do baby shark do 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 malma shark malma shark malma shark do 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 that's my malma shark malma shark Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark. I think we only got like one activation of Nekobolas, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know how we win this game. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three guys get through. So. I mean, win this game by playing the long game, brah. Of course, they have equilibrium now, so they can actually just bounce. Whirler Rogue if they play any creature, which is pretty brutal. So we're just hoping they don't draw actual creature this turn, and then we can kill their Equilibrium if their Nicol Bolas survives. I mean, also, we have the option of drawing, like, uh... Earthquake and then earthquaking for earthquaking earthquaking for three, which will even kill our rook egg, which would be just insane actually if we were able to do that. Can you tell me more about the baby shark? Do 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 do. <clears throat> All right, so they're not bouncing whirler rogue, which is nice. 
Oh, God. All at Nicol Bolas. Jesus. All right, man. You got it. Not that. Okay. Just everybody else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. How did Nicol Bolas go to... Th oh, it starts at five. Sure. Well, we're going to make some profitable blocks here. So it's going to take three. So that's like exactly enough, unfortunately. So I guess there's no point in throwing this guy away. <coughs> hmm. I think this is fine. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty sure we just want to keep drawing cards here. Well, that's interesting. Doesn't really do much now. Four, one, two, three. We'll play Urborg. <clears throat> Alright, well just passing here, I guess. They're gonna mill us for three. Oh, they didn't mill us for three. Alright, this is good. Could we door here? Blue blue, red red, green green, black black, white, and then we need one more white. Oh good, we actually killed our Thopters, so Thopter Spy Network pretty much dead here. Alright, I like it. Drowned catacomb. Drowned kitty catacomb. Earthquake one time. Just one time. Oh, that's actually great. We get to make a dude. <clears throat> we get to Chandra's Phoenix here. Seems all right. Pretty sure we're just going to kill this guy. Oh, are they going to counter this? Oh, they're gonna mill us in response, sure. Chandra Incinerate Forest. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely keep that on top. That seems great. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's shuffle. gonna get shuffled. Oh, dang it. Uh, I don't really want to take a second. Do I want to take you a point? Have to. Well, we could play. Well, we do for this. Both of these are. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna have to. Yeah. Oh, they said you don't have to. I was like, really? Uh, Really? Yeah, I guess we can just wait. Also, it's almost impossible for them to us when we have Beacon in our library. Like, we just cast it, shuffle it back in, cast it, shuffle it back in. Dead planes walk do 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 do. <clears throat> That guy's pretty good. I agree. That guy can take over a game. You're going to condemn that dude? Wow, that's rude. <coughs> we're actually at a point. I think we're just going to make a dude with uh, Tezzeret here. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do this. All right. Uh, we need double red. <clears throat> you wasted the haste. 
Yeah, that's because I want to keep blockers up for Tezzeret. So we can go double block one, block the other. Man, they got rid of our Apex Predator and our Nicobolus. They're both in the graveyard. That's really sad. Also, this is game one, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. That's pretty good. It's good, but, like, <clears throat> we have a ton of... We have, like, infinite blockers for this guy, so... Yeah, just make that guy 3-3. Three, three. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's a pretty good draw. And we get to scry here. One, two, three, four. And we get to make a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> it's going to be a land. We're going to put it on the bottom. Um, No. No, we don't want it? No, because you have to discard a card to make, to make it work. Yeah, and it's like we're only seeing one deeper, so... By putting it on the bottom, we're already seeing... Oh, Sunken Hope. That's interesting. We can actually bounce our Rook Egg. Yeah, I think that's good. It seems real good. One, two, three, four, five. We can also make, like, two guys a turn with Soul of Zendikar now, so. <clears throat> I don't think we care about the Ajani. Oh, actually, they have Captain, so they can just bounce their Captain every turn. That's pretty good. Oh. Yikes. Oops. And they get to Equilibrium and bounce something else. Oh, that's that was actually bad. really bad. Yeah, that's actually terrible for us. Didn't think about that one. Mistakes were made. Oh. Well, we probably just alpha soon. Maybe. If I got the shark song stuck in your head, that's pretty cool. It's true. We do get Rook Egg back. You gotta look at the... Always look on the bright side of life. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, actually, we have infinite thopters, so I'm not actually even worried about that. Oh, and they didn't play. They didn't replay. Captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, craption, my craption. Craption. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Got him. Also, if we just draw two cards, like we can eventually get to a point where they can just we can just beacon them out for infinite. That's pretty cool. We are kind of in a position where we have to, like, start blocking with Thopters, though. Not yet. Well, this guy, maybe. I mean, if they go for Tezzeret, we are. Just going at Tezzeret. I don't want to block. It doesn't have Trample, right? But now you can't draw two cards. That's fine. We'll draw one card if we want to. But we have to actually keep making Thopters. Like, we can't draw two cards anyway if he dies. <laughs> True. Don't block because then you can't draw two cards. Oh, it didn't really... Oh, he was going to, like, give it, like, double strike or fly... Uh, counter out, maybe? I don't actually know. I don't know. what. I don't know if it would have mattered, but... What's your boy's ultimate? Tezzeret? Yeah. Uh, you get an emblem with the beginning of your end step. Search your library for a permanent. Put it on the battlefield. Pretty decent. Yeah, it's good, but it's not great here, I don't think. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's your boy. We're going to wait till they play captain, though. For obvious reasons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 12 mana. So we can use this twice, or we can play Rook Egg and do it once. Playing Rook Egg seems very, very not good. Why? It just doesn't do anything. I mean, when we Earthquake, we get a 4-4 four, four Flyer. True. And it's better than making just another 3-3, three, three, right? I don't know. 3-3s three, are pretty good, man. But they don't do anything right now. But in the future. No. You have enough of them. No. 
He'll eventually die. No. <clears throat> now they can bounce the mage, sure. So now they can play mage and then equilibrium as well. Yeah. So we're hoping they play captain here, actually, but I don't think they're going to. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Oh, platinum angel. That's worse. Hmm. That is immune to earthquake. That is correct. But it's not immune to beacon bolt. Bacon bolt. What did he bounce? What did he bounce? Uh, a Drake? Yeah, Drake. Always look on the bright side of Mike. <clears throat> Protection from all colors. This game is great so far. I'm a f Oh, they're just going face here? Oh yeah, we'll take that for sure. <laughs> Definitely. I wonder if we can kill them. You wonder if we can? Yeah. Why can't we? Oh, we do have to get rid of the Platinum Angel first, though. Yeah, but we have uh, lots of things that can do that. Not currently. We have Beacon Bolt in our deck. Their Beacon of Destruction is what I meant. It's right here. There you go. Shoot it. <clears throat> can we Alpha and, and do some damage here? Hold on. Let's see what we got here. They have four blockers. Well, they have to get rid of this anyway, I guess, or else they can't. We can't win. So. Yeah. Always look on the bright side of life. Scry's not gonna matter. Bottom. Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know why I always tell like, yeah, I don't want this. <clears throat> oh, we can actually, yeah, we can earthquake for one, kill both of these guys. That leaves them with one blocker, so they block here. They take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No. Not enough, but pretty close. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We can actually play this. Do we just draw two cards? They have Exclusion Mage and Captain, but they can't cast both and activate both, so... We will have a blocker. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to draw two cards. Oh, Flames of the Firebrand. Does that do it? Um, one, two, three. I'm not sure if this does do it, but we're going to try. We can just figure it out. So now they have one blocker. <clears throat> And then we're going to attack with everything. They go block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we can Earthquake for 5. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Hmm. We can't really deck ourselves because the Beacon of Beacon of Destruction keeps getting shuffled back in. So we'll draw it, cast it, and... Oh, wow. All right. Three, done. Got him! <clears throat> Ooh, this deck is cool. This is a sweet deck. I mean, their deck's also pretty good. Oh, Hurricane seems great against them. Yes, it does. Wow. We can take it out for... We can take out Jace's uh, Sanctum. Yeah, that shouldn't have been in our deck anyway. <coughs> Oh, Smash also seems very good. They have a bunch of tokens, and they have... Um, Platinum Angel. Yeah. Platy. I am a little scared of their Thopter Spy Network if it gets going. I'm also afraid of their um, Equilibrium. I wish we had a way to destroy enchantments. Could probably cut that stupid egg. Really? I think it goes really well with a lot of cards in their deck. It blocks their early guys. Like, I mean, they had to pacify it. I guess. I don't. I think like under like being able to earthquake and then get a four four out of it is real good. I think you're just being a little Mitch about it. You cut the horn turtle. Thank you. We only have eight creatures. Though. Cheese whip. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, cheese wisp. Rather, my bad. 
My only my only concern about cutting the horn turtle is we have eight creatures. I don't know if I like going down to seven here. You cut tormenting voice is not that great. Actually, oh, I like mystifying maze here. <sighs> Colorless land is really bad for I us. I agree though. with you. But being able to exile like one of the unless you play it as our our forty second card. I kind of like that. I would cut tormenting voice for it. Too late. <clears throat> Because the reason is, like, they have Spectre Ward, mm -hmm. so you can exile the creature with Spectre Ward. And if it's a token, you're just like, get get wrecked. This hand actually seems fine. This is the only thing we can't cast, but we have 4-drop, 5-drop, 6-drop. I'll keep. Yikes. This isn't even her final form. Oh, that was a good draw. All right. So now we can definitely play a Chandra. Plus one deals one damage to any target. When you cast your next instant or sorcery, copy it. That's not exciting at all. Negative six is fine. No, unless we have an earthquake. Then it's pretty good. Oh, dang. Look who it is. It's your little boy. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Earthquake, copy it. 10 ya, 20 ya, 30 ya, 30 ya, 40 ya, whoa, 50 ya. Oh man, I would love an earthquake here. Oh, actually, if they tap out for anything, we get to kill this Kithian. That'd be great. I don't think they're going to do it, though. Dang it. Yeah, because he has that indestructible clause. Pepper Talk, host of Pepper Talk, Peppercini Philippe, Fi Peppercini Felipe. I was wondering if a human and a pepper got pregnant, would the baby have a pepper head and a human body, or a human head and a pepper body? Asking for a friend. What do you think, Michael? Human head, pepper body, pepper head, human body. Would it be a, a centaur or it's not, a? It's not possible. <laughs> Everything's possible if you believe, Michael. Everything's possible if you believe. Oh, we can also double Hurricane, that is correct. Why not? We can. Oh, yeah, right. What's the answer to the Pepper Talk question, Michael? Is it the Pepper Head with the human body? It would clearly have a Pepper Head with a human body. <laughs> it would clearly have a Pepper Head. Don't be stupid, okay? God, can you imagine a Pepper Body with a human head on it? <laughs> no, no, I cannot, and no, no, I would not like to. Why, why did she go to two? There's one image to any target. So she started at three, went up to four. Oh, why? Well, she starts at three? Oh, that's terrible. This, yeah, she's not that good. Is Chandra not good? Oh, we actually don't have a second red It's only good this. if you're like abusing her minus. You shouldn't abuse anybody's minus. That's not... That's not appropriate. Are they just become indestructible? Yeah, but I mean, it forces them to use their three man every single turn. Yeah, I just wanted to see if we could, like, get him with the second Chandra. We can't play the second Chandra, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, double red. Double red, six drop, six drop, six drop, seven drop. Any green, blue, or red here is just fantastic, and it lets us play any of these, like, iconic six drops. <clears throat> I also want to hurry, because they do have a minute more than us on the clock. I think only one of those cards in your hand is considered an iconic six drop. Shivan Dragon? Yes. Okay, well, this is a good... This is a good, good. Well, they did top out now, so if we draw our terror... They did top out now. Our terror? Yeah. It's It got protection from, it got protection from all colors, Michael. Oh, yeah. All I right. thought it was the other one. <clears throat> I think it just might be Mindseeker here. Maybe. Shivan can block it, though, which is nice. No, it can't. Can't block it, so now it's definitely this guy. Clicking hard. <laughs> Clicking hard. How is Babby formed? <laughs> We hit nothing. But we did get rid of an adaptive automaton, a pacifism, a thopter, spine, and an equilibrium. This so. is the second time we've whiffed with that card. That's true. That's true. Especially considering playing against a blue-white deck, you think we wouldn't whiff so hard. It's pronounced white. A blue-white deck. No, it's not. Shut up. Oh. Murder your family. Oh, my God. Also, ooh, if we play Garrick Apex Predator, can we kill that? No, we cannot. Is it a color? Yes. Then no. No, I was wondering if we can kill the enchantment. I wasn't sure if Garrick had destroy target permanent like oh. ability like Nick no. And Bolas. No, no. That's reserved only for the Bolases. And Verascus. For the Bolas family. 
Yeah, the Boluses and the Vraskas, those are the ones who really get that ability. <clears throat> what a hey, Michael, how would a pepper body person hop around like a veggie tail or just kind of float around? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm done re- answering these hypothetical questions. They're really they're really not in the spirit of Pepper Talk. <laughs> it's well, it a factual show. No one's gonna come to Pepper Talk to get their factual Pepper information if you guys keep making ridiculous claims like this. I just want to be clear about that. I want to be clear. I want to break free. Is that what you're doing? That was what I was doing. That's good. That's a good one. I'm sorry, why can't I target the... Oh, God, this Planeswalker sucks. What does it do? I was like, plus one, shoot this guy. And this old old school Sean Renard does not do that. She deals negative to these guys. <clears throat> oh, she can only do it to players and Planeswalkers? That's right, boy. Ouch. Four, five. She's dead anyway. I might as well attack Jace. That doesn't seem good. I'll just pass. You're not going to be blocking anyway. You're not going to be blocking. Yeah, well, I'll block one of these guys. Man, shoot. I think we're behind here, but, like... It's hard to say, because both of our decks, like, do weird things. This card is hard to deal with right now for us. I don't know what we can actually draw to deal with this guy. Maybe... I mean, Tezzeret's good, because we can make blockers, but... Oh, they also can't attack with three dudes because this guy flips then and they just lose it, which is actually pretty good. Oh, well then. Is it a May ability? No. All right. I'll put this dude in the trash can. Flip your Kithian. <clears throat> well, that's fascinating. So long, Spectre Ward. That's actually good for us. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to defeat that. Yeah. Forgot it flips. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Hoisted by his own petard. Hoisted by his own petard. This guy's a real petard, am I right? Mike had to sell himself to Big Pepper to pay off his rat debts. It's true, I'm a globalist shill. <laughs> he is, actually. I, I've known him for a long time. He is definitely a glo- God dang it. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, we have answers to that. What are they? Hurricane. Yeah. It feels all right. Hurricane. Discard the Phoenix. We can get it back. Not how are we gonna get it back? Uh when an opponent is dealt damage by uh sorcery. Yeah, we could do that. I'm really concerned with this Jace at this point. Actually I just want to hit one more land so we can Garrick and kill either one of these idiots. Okay. Maybe just play Shiv and Dragon here. How do they deal with the Shiv and Dragon? They just ignore it because they have a Platinum Angel. Right, but all we're waiting on is one land. <clears throat> also, Beacon Bolt is... Be- I keep calling it Beacon Bolt because of stupid Guilds of Ravnica. A beacon of Destruction. This is the story of the hurricane. It's a society game to Well, something that he never done. I don't know this jam. But really, it's a Bob Dylan jam called Hurricane. I don't miss to listen to Bob Dylan. Oh my god. You need to get your life together. I want to keep Chandra's Phoenix in hand because it, it prevents it prevent, presents a surprise attacker for and they have two planeswalkers out. So if we can go like Hurricane for one, get one blocker out of the way, Hurricane, and then have three attackers, we can probably get ke- kill one of these dudes but Mike you can leave now <laughs> you gonna listen to Bob Dylan yeah please everybody in the chat shame Michael for his his poor musical choices sorry I just don't get it what don't you get I've heard a couple of songs and they're just like me did you hear good songs or bad songs well Aren't all the songs good according to everybody? Yeah, so what's your problem then? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's why you can't have nice things. Oh, they didn't activate Jace? Oh, boy. Why didn't they? That's weird. Because they got wrecked. That's why, Michael. 
I guess we're gonna have to play this. Like, I don't, I don't love it, but we can block here, block here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He basically dies, but we get to kill one of these dudes. Do they have anything in here that we care about? Timely reinforcements? No, not really. Yeah, I do listen to Bob guy. Marley, which is a very different person, so I don't know how that matters. It's the same person. <laughs> <clears throat> also, if they attack with this, it's pretty risky because we can just block with Shivan Dragon. Like, we can kill both of these. They have to get rid of the Garrick, though, right? Elk Tears, what's going on, my dude? Forever Young isn't a Bob Dylan song. Why did you say that? Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's actually a song by Alphaville. I know that. Also That's covered true. by JC. It's also covered by your mom. That's correct. Michael, listen. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, Michael? No. Think about it. Okay. Good talk. Good pepper talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he made himself laugh. I think they're wondering if they want to actually suicide all their guys into this Garrick. Because we can block here and block here. Garrick takes seven. But we get both Platinum Angel and Captain of the Watch off the board. Captain of the Night's Watch. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Oh, all but this, huh? All but this, huh? Out, am I? That's from... How dare you, Barman ATL? My taste in peppers is superb. Don't it's, even go there. It's pronounced spurb? Yeah, spurb. What he said. My bad. I forgot how to pronounce it. All right, we'll kill this Planeswalker, too. How are, look, see, this is what I mean. Like, I felt like we were losing this game, and now we're like, mm, back in it, boys. And now I actually will Tormenting Voice discard the Chandra, because we don't have to have any creatures. Oh, my God, they're going to counter this? <gasps> Joke's on you. It still does something from the graveyard. Mike would love Bob Dylan's number one jam, Government Peppers, not today. So you go block, block, Garrick takes two, but then you lose Platinum Angel, so I'm actually okay with this. If you want to trade a Garrick for a Platinum Angel, I'm fine with it. Mike would like, oh, I was, I was reading, I was reading the same thing you just read. It's okay, you're allowed to do that. I don't even know who Cynthia Lepore is. They were making a joke because I said your mom covers it, so... Oh, but the, the P was capitalized there, which is not how my name is spelled, so... Oh, sure. You know, I just assume that people, when they misspell my name, are not talking about me, especially when my name is all over the screen. <clears throat> well, reading's hard, though. I agree with you. This is sad that they top deck this guy to kill our Garrick. It's almost like there's no justice in the world. It's close. Um, yeah, we'll just play this guy. <clears throat> I think we're still in great shape here. Oh, they have four minutes. Oh, we, we actually netted two minutes here at some point. Fallout 76 will be done dialing in T minus three days. Good lord. Yeah, that's actually fine. I think it's still less gigs than a Red Dead, right? Yes, by a significant a, mar a significant a margin. All right, what does she do? She deals one damage to a prisoner player. Whenever she deals three or more damage, you can flip her, and you can untap her whenever you cast a red spell. All right. I guess we probably... Actually, what we should have done there was hurricane for four and then attack with Shivan Dragon, but like... They have more guys on the ground. So we're going to actually activate Soul of Zendikar here. Play Rook Egg. Shoot you. Wish I had another red spell. 
Actually, what is this? Oh, it's, it's, oh, so it's one of red creature, or it's one of red spell or planeswalker, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. Um, so just hurricane for four. I guess we can actually just attack with, if we attack with this and they double block, it's also just fine. So I ain't too scared of that. They're probably not going to block because they have Platinum Angel on board, so. <clears throat> guess we could have played the land and dealt them one, da one more damage, but. Also, time's going to be super relevant in this match, it looks like. Yeah, but this is fine. We don't really have to do anything, so I'm just going to have six here. Oh, actually, we wanna, we do want to shoot them once. Do a little shooty. Yeah, this is just getting better and better for our... I think we're just killing them this turn now. So I'll shoot you now. Um, we can hurricane for like a billion. But I don't think we want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can and hurricane for nine. That? Just what? It just clears all his flyers. Isn't he just dead to that? No, because then our guys die. Oh, yeah. I do want to attack with both, though, because they only have... If they want to, like, clear out both of our flyers, it's fine. We'll just play Tezzeret after this. <clears throat> yeah, they're actually dead if they do this, because if, they, if either one of these guys get through, then... Yeah, this, is actually, came for seven. yeah this is pretty good. Got him. <clears throat> Got there. Oh, dropping frames and low frames per second? I bet Felipe is doing some nonsense. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's definitely on my end. We're dropping frames and our... That's weird. I'm not a fan. That was round one. Good Lord. I feel like my whole life. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm dead now. Where'd my lid go? I found it. I found my lid. We're in middle age. Yeah, hopefully it'll... I can't really do anything about it, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Zero kilobytes per second. We're basically dead here. Oh, now we're back up. All right. Yeah, this sucks. Swear on me, lid. Good lord. Maybe the cat is eating the internet. I think even my phone has got shitty internet right now. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me message Felipe. All right, well, we're still... Magic Online is still chugging along, so we're still recording. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. <coughs> With any land, we have three spells to play. That's pretty good. That's all I could really ask for. It's Big Pepper. They know. Big Pepper knows all. Big Pepper does know all. I would I, like it makes me wonder if like Felipe's like yeah, I'm downloading Fallout 76. Oh God, yep, that's what's happening. Oh, that would Why would that affect upload speed though? Uh, because it just it's, it's still bandwidth. Okay. Yep. Sure. Felipe's doing something, so that's rough. All right. Well. <clears throat> So you're downloading Fallout 76? I why well, I have no idea if that's what he's doing, but that I mean that would but I would that's what I would think would be happening. I thought he wasn't on that train. He might not be. He might not be. Like I said, I have no idea. So. Yikes. All right. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. Fingeals crossed. <laughs> internet things <laughs> oh man good times good times yeah and this is why we're actually looking of course we don't hit a third land this is why we're actually looking into getting a new internet provider with a higher upload speed because right now it's 100 slash 10 
Uh, and we're looking into 500 slash 50 from WoW Internet. I don't know if you guys, if you guys in the comments have any opinions on WoW. Um, so far, we've gotten both very, very good reviews and very, very poor reviews from people. So it seems kind of hit or miss. But, um, you know, every bit helps. So if you guys have. Cool. Having a good time. I'm um, just going to shoot your face like, yeah, I'll we'll kill a guy on board, I guess. <clears throat> super, super lag. That is correct. We have, we have gone over this. And we have covered the lag. Oh, that's just so frustrating that, like... Yeah, this is not ideal. Is Felipe Sneezy Mike? Yes. Yes, that is... Yes. Oh, good. We killed the elf and we got an elvish champion. Actually, if this is, like, an aggressive go-wide deck... That I'm okay with uh, having Earthquake in our hand. And having Rook Egg even. I'll just block. We can Earthquake, Rook Egg into Ar Earth Earthquake. Also, here's another thing about Rook Egg. It forces your opponent to go wide because you're able to block one of their guys. Like the same way you have like a blocker for like, and then you Wrath of God, you Wrath all their guys away. But so they go wide and then you Earthquake. And then you get a 4 4 out of it. A few minutes, we're in the home stretch. Oh, God. I don't think you understand how long a few minutes is when, like, you're in the middle of a stream. Awkward. To be fair, we're normally not streaming at this time. Right, but, like... Interesting. Huh. Slow flesh boy. That sounds disgusting. Oh, that's really good. I wish we had an answer for that. Land? No, of course not. That would be a little too good. How about an island into an island? Hey, man, and 17 turds? <coughs> he's dead. Did you say 17 turds? Yeah, and 17 turds, he's dead. 1080 clean now. It's, that's what we were thinking. We were thinking he was downloading Fallout 76. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Can you guys even hear me? Oh, God. Am I talking to myself? Oh, he's definitely trying to go wide, boy. Yeah. Land? No, of course not. That's too good. Earthquake for two? No, I'm not going to Earthquake when they got one dude on board. We ain't under any pressure. They're going to go to 14 here. This, this Phoenix is just going to win us the game. They're going to 13, actually. Oh, my God. You're right. We're doing three at basically turn. dead. This kills them even more. Play a Dwinnin's Elite. Nope. You're playing something big. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Prime Daddy. Yikes. The pressure's now on us, unfortunately. Well, no. If we draw a land, we can play Rook Egg. Block this guy. We have six in the air. Um... We can Earthquake eventually. And then they're basically just dead. I don't even know what, what, you, what they do after that. They're basically... What can they even do? <clears throat> you should switch back to black and white so all the lags make it look like you and Mike are an old... Yeah, but then we have to hit a land, too, so... Yeah, God forbid. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go to the next game because... I mean, we were at, a, we were at a, a good point up until the Primeval Titan. Oh, are we are we actually good? Oh, Wow. How did it jump up to 11,000 kilobytes a second? What just happened? Felipe stopped downloading his internet things. Right, but even so, my 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 band my bit my bit rate is is like capped to like 3 to 4. 3 to 4,000. Now it's like 11,000. Are we super smooth now? Was that an accurate? Was that true? Like a baby's egg. Okay, so just to be clear, you <laughs> said like a baby's egg? Yeah. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, man. I'm looking at a page that's called 30 Tributes. 30 Artist Tributes to Stan Lee and... A 
have seen that one. Yeah, I didn't know this was specifically. I'm pretty sure this is not for Stan Lee, though. I'm pretty sure this is like. Yeah, it's a it's from Cable's funeral in X Men comics. Like this is not. Well, the image I saw, they put Stanley up here. Sure, but like that's still they just took a comic panel and. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. <clears throat> all right, see, look, now we're back at four, which is much more normal. It was probably like all bandwidthed up, and then like as soon as like Felipe was done, it was like, and then there was an overwhelming amount of bandwidth that just came free, and then it then it, then it teetered back down to normal. That's not how bandwidth works, but third tail. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Why can't I just? I don't understand why I can't stay above five hundred. It's kind of funny. Looks like your curse. It feels like my curse. Yeah. <laughs> oh man that's amazing alright anyway okay now we got all the reds wait what's kind of cool what are you guys talking about What's scary and what's the most horrifying thing you've ever seen on the stream? What did I miss? <clears throat> okay, so next turn we have the 4-drop, 5-drop, 6-drop, which is nice. But it looks like we're a red-green deck at this point. Also, if you guys uh, have not done so, feel free to refresh the stream. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I just work here. Oh, I like that they don't have anything on board when we play Chandra. That's pretty good. It's not a gr Oh, we can copy Beacon? Oh, that's Ooh. pretty good. That's juicy. Half your life, total boy. And then we can copy an Earthquake for the other 10. Uh, that's actually not bad. Well, that's a big boy. It's a big boy that gets bigger. I'm going to have to deal with that boy first. It's a big boy. Don't play that land. Why? Because it comes into play tapped. Yeah. You're smart. Oh, that's unfortunate because now we can't kill it. Yes, we can. Oh, sure. <laughs> Got there. Rewarded. <clears throat> Just making sure then wasn't now. Oh, not downloading, uploading. It was a one-minute video, technically. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, definitely uploading would kill us. Oh, what? Oh, they just raised the dead. All right. Well, that's... Keep it. Keep doing it, I guess. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this just gets better with... Uh... Wait, what is her negative? Deals six damage to each up to six targets. Oh, that's insane, right? It's all right. Like, we just can't let this guy untap with this Colonian Hydra. I need an update on how many of the memes and bits you saw and reacted to while we were... Ha I, didn't, I don't think I saw any memes or bits. I saw 100... A uh, one-year mom buck, but that was like 18 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. I'm pretty sure we just Earthquake here for a billion. Or we can play this guy and just shoot this. What is going on here? Why are they letting us... Why are they just playing all these crappy creatures into our Chandra? Because I think that's all their deck is, crappy creatures. Well, they played Primeval Titan and Colonial Hydra. Those guys are good, right? Still crappy creatures. Dang. All think... creatures are crappy. <laughs> okay, all creatures are crappy. You heard it here first. Your favorite. That is my favorite, Michael. You can just bash them for five and keep making duders. You mean six? 
whatever. I'm tempted to actually just copy something. One, two, three, four, five. We can deal ten, and then like they just win next turn. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna shoot him in the face, and it's fine. We have enough things that I'm not really super worried about it. Like, we actually don't have to play anything once we have Solo Zendikar on board. Here comes Primeval Titan. Yep, don't care about that. You're dead. <clears throat> we can also just neg six Chandra, deal six to him, six to you, and then attack you for six. I just finished editing the promo for this season on, of your Twitch stream. Oh, God. <laughs> that's good. That's that's clever. I'm a fan. Wow. I'm a fan. And I just canceled my flight to see you guys, so now it's all over. This is what you did. Dang. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> excuse me. But excuse me. We should have dealt it to ourselves too, just for the lulls. And dead. Alright. This Chandra just won us the game. What a time to be alive. Yeah, if we can hit our land drops, I'm a fan of this deck. Shut up, Michael. Why? Why? Shut up. I can't. It hurts so much. <clears throat> pepper question oh welcome back welcome back to pepper talk guys i'm glad you're still with us here so we have another pepper question if a jalapeno was an mtg card what would it be what would it be like what card would it be actually let's go with what card would it be a very spicy card okay we're gonna need to be a little more specific here we're not that's i mean that's just a given we're on pepper talk michael everything on pepper talk is spicy probably like You got some mouth sounds ASMR going on right here on Pepper Talk, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Probably like Urza's Rage because it deals a lot of damage. Oh, the jalapeno would be Urza's Rage. What do you think about Pepper? What do you think about the jalapeno being a green card due to its green nature? Yeah, that that could be like um the green ball lightning. I don't remember its name. Oh, Groundbreaker. Isn't that's that good. The newer one. Yeah, it's that's that's good. It's that's the original a, one. Yeah, because it deals you six. It's really it's got a little burst of heat, but it's not a prolonged lasting heat. That's actually good. The Jalapeno would be Groundbreaker, the green card Groundbreaker, not a sustained heat, but just a quick burst. Very flavorful as well. Looks like a Jalapeno. It's very flavorful as well because it's copying an iconic card, so it's basically perfect. Beautiful. Do we actually do anything here? I kind of want Tormenting Voice discovered on the five drops. Maybe Sunken Hope? Yeah, we'll do that. Pepper question. Which pepper hurts the most coming out? I believe that would be Pepper X, which is the hottest pepper in the world. It likely also hurts the most going in as well. <clears throat> Not really something you want to enjoy by itself. You want to mix it in with things. And maybe just a little bit. Because it goes a long way. I remember uh, talking about your mother because she goes a long way as well. So, Was the stipulation draft blue red for Spider-Man? No, the stipulation is... Elk Tears, if you Was. don't know the, the stipulation command, I don't even know what to tell you. You're better than that, my friend. Well, it's not our current stip, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, it was. That was the last one, but right. not, not this one. Oh, 
Oh no, a tutu. Doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in Mike. Oh no. Why what? would you do the why why have you done this? What? You got the I Mentos songs? I can't believe you've done this. Me? Yeah. Cause you gonna have the Mentos song stuck in here? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. It's a good song. Yeah. They're good songs, Michael. With Michael's fresh and full of life. Yeah, I don't care about this at all. Dang. Nice three man of two one, bro. <laughs> that's that's hateful. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? That's a good. <clears throat> ready? I'm waiting. Beast mode. Do you know how good this flames is now? I just go pew, pew, pew. Shoot them all. Oh, I kind of want to play that first now. Well. I think it's worth the greed. For this one? Yeah. I don't even think it's greedy because like if they go but the problem is if they go raise the dead to get this back though true like putting them to only have a 2-2 on board is pretty nuts though yeah I'm gonna do that I think they showed us raise dead is my biggest problem so do it then I like Chandra having six because if they do like one tap primeval titan we can just Chandra kill it. So that's kind of nice. But I do I kind of the greed is real though. I do want to greedily play Talran and get the body off of it. Raise dead's in the graveyard? Oh. Then greed it up. Done. D O Enzo. Nice. I didn't even look cuz I'm streaming. <laughs> so I get distracted easily the hell's wrong with you? question mark uppercase step why are you like this i already did it first off yeah that's actually fine it's a, it's a it's obnoxious but we have beacon oh we get to kill this with a beacon and make a chef's kiss i'm about to bust oh they got this oh that's a good one that's a good one to get though muy bueno yeah that is muy bueno <clears throat> well that's unfortunate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this what is whatever. So I think we're just going to go flames for two and then one on, like, this guy. We'll make a two, two. We'll have a lot of blockers. You like this cool voice that I got? One, two, three. All right, it seems decent. We're 11, but I feel like we're okay. Oh, here we go, Primal Titan. Jesus, come on, man. The hits keep coming. I guess that's, I mean, it's, it's good. It's just obnoxious. Four, five, six. If you all if you triple block here, they just get to kill everything but Psy, I guess. Or they just kill these two and leave me with a Drake. And then we go Chandra, kill this. And then I have a two, two, a one one, and a one one on board. We can also just chump block this, but we can't do that forever is the problem. And we have to kill this guy next turn. Right. I don't have trample though. Nope. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah, we'll just jump it. That's fine. Alternatively, we can draw nothing really. Yep. Could you describe in verse whether or not the hits keep coming? Well, the hits stop come, keep coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the room and I hit the ground running, but it didn't make sense and I live for fun. Killed this primal needle titan now it's done. <laughs> Sing in the back streets. You never know if you don't go. Never shine if you don't glow. I'm about to bust. You okay? You don't like these songs I'm singing? Is that what so you're bad. Trying? What's bad about them? Oh, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? 
Yikes. That's surprisingly good. I'm going to get rid of Tezzeret here. Because we have to have an answer for this guy. God, that's so bad. How do you have more cards to play? I'm not sure I understand. Sorry, I'm just too stupid to understand this. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand wow, this. Wow, what is even happening? Oh, Lord. Remember that time I was like, I think we're in good shape. I lied to you. <clears throat> God, we take six, seven, eight here? That's brutal. What? Why'd you? All right, sure. I mean, you have overrun next turn, so like, just me me being able to eat one of these guys is pretty huge. Yeah, we're just dead. I'm not dead. He's gonna overrun us. We just kill. Well, yeah, we can kill it though. And we get two blockers, so we can chump block here, block here, and then we're dead. Yep, and that's the end. God, man, what like they had like the perfect draws those games. What can you do? Frank, are you a Daft Punk fan at all? Yes, I am. I think the chorus for the prime time of your life would be a great sound bite every time someone. Yeah, the problem is that like I don't like having actual music for sound bites because then I get demonetized. Even if it's like six seconds, they still demonetize you because they have like bots scouring your videos for sound matches. So. I think we can 2 1 here. Oh, that's good. This is a good, good. It's a good, good. It's a good, good. Good boy. Good kid. We're good friends. <laughs> is that disappointment that you're, that you're feeling right now? It is, now? yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I can feel it. I can feel your disappointment through. Three seconds is more than enough, buddy. That's all it takes. Yeah, what if I press it twice? Then, then what do I do? Demonetized. I found your worst enemy one in this video. is pretty triggering for any Stan Lee fans. I mean, this would... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm not gonna watch this right now. I will watch this though. What is it? I don't know actually. Hold on. Hey, what's, what's up, up, Mike? What's up? Hey, Mike, Mike. Stan Lee died today. today. Did, you Did you ever meet the guy? What do you think of him? Stan Lee? Yeah, yeah. Stan Lee. I don't, I don't know, know who he is. I don't know who he is though. Jesus. Who is he? <laughs> who is he? Jesus. Who is Stan Lee? He was one of the creators of Marvel Comics. Oh, who cares? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not a comic book guy. Is that, what, is that who he is, Stan Lee? The guy who created Spider-Man. That was his big Oh, created Spider-Man? Sorry. I never was a comic book reader as a kid. I apologize. Never. Ne I like that incredible, like, condescending never at the end. Never. I was never a comic book reader. Plus, like, even if you're not, like, a Marvel fan, like, how do you not know about Stan Lee? Yeah, what are you, a moron? Oh, you live under a rock? My friend, yeah, it's thirty. It's thirty-five seconds, not ten. Your your perception of time is clearly three hundred fifty percent slower than than it should be. Okay. Oh, calm down, buddy. I was getting i I was getting mad. I apologize. My egg has appeared. <laughs> Every night when Mike gets home from work, that's what he says. He bursts in the door and he's like, "My egg has appeared." It's very weird, but it's true. I do do that. Did you say doo doo? <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things. Doo doo confirmed. Yeah, plus it's like human being dies. Ah, oh, who cares? Like, someone died. You could be like less of a jerk about it, maybe. I never read comics. Never. All right, man. Take it easy. Slow down. You have to use it as a badge of pride, buddy. Is someone accusing me of reading comics? Oh, what are you? What do I look like? A fucking nerd? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I only believe in football, okay? If it's not on the gridiron, it's not real. No, it's real. You need to shot her and kill her, Jace. I kind of like that. I feel like it's not going to work, though. 
They have four mana up. There's no way this resolves. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Does it resolve? Oh my god. What? See you later, bye. I will see you later, bye. Oh, you're just going to catalog? I don't care about all that. It's got to be one of the worst draw spells of all time, right? It's not great. Draw two, discard one for three mana. I mean, I it's mean, instant speed. Yeah, I don't know about that. Got him. Sent him. Oh, message. you did. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's, they're going to go to Hey Sky, and they're going to be like, yeah, now you feel real stupid. Oh. Um, so it's like Shivan Dragon, I guess. Soul of Zendikar. That's not great. I mean, that's not Soul of Zendikar doesn't do anything. Probably is really not that big a deal. Yeah, all Pretty our creatures. Sure we, joke's on you. Our creatures suck. I think we can beacon bolt anything he plays. That's actually a good point. Yeah, especially because with the uh, extra, we can also buff the beacon bolt. <laughs> I like that we're both calling it beacon bolt now. Yeah, bribery was reprinted in 8th edition. It was originally Mercadian Masks, but then it got that re-up. Kev, why do you still get on top of that? There's not even a lid. You're not. There's not even a lid on you. It's true. Remember that time you said doo-doo? I do. Do? Do I do do. Oh, tower. Oh. But I have Chandra on board. This is not... I don't understand it. All right, I'll shoot it for two, I guess. <laughs> okay. Cool bribery. I mean, oh, Jason Sanctum's got... still in our deck. Yeah, so? It's bad. You're bad. Bad to the bone. Are you? B -b 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 bad Hey, man, scroll down in the chat. Oh, sorry. I didn't even know we were up. The lid is his pepper lips? What does that even mean? Oh, that just sounds weird, man. The lid is Why his pepper lips. Why would you get lips? Talrand? Like, isn't know. that just straight, strictly worse than... Are you attacking when I have a... I have no idea what's happening. No, this right makes now. sense. You know, all these plays are really whack. I feel like the deck. I mean, no offense to our opponent, but I feel like an AI is piloting the deck. Maybe it is an AI. Its name is underscore Carter underscore. Oh, they okay. They I guess. conceded to us making a Thopter. Well, that'll do. Like even if you got Shivan Dragon, like I'm com I'm committed to either using a card or spending Chandra on it. But like, that's just a weird choice. What even? Just he didn't really show us anything, so I guess we just kind of. I submit. guess. I'm just very confused. You said he didn't have a lid, but people's lids are their lips. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to be honest with you. Man, Rupture Spire is best land in our deck. I didn't take Sanctum out because I don't actually know what to put in instead. Oh, why did I do that? I was going to play the Rupture Spire. I don't know. Rupture Spire would have been a pretty good play there. I hate you and everything <laughs> you stand for. And we're going to be like a turn behind for the whole game I because of that. I'm so <laughs> mad at myself. That was such a mistake. Oh, God. Let's draw Earthquake right here. Can we do it? We, we didn't. No, we didn't. I would have also accepted Incinerate. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that was bad. <clears throat> well, to be fair, drawing an earthquake at any point is probably fine. <laughs> hey, they have <laughs> one. Oh, that's funny. Well, not when they could, not when they flip this chase though. And they ain't flipping yet. Okay. It got worse. Cyberdrack, I have no doubt that you will one day bring up lips as lids again at some point. All right. Well, we're just going to play Chandra here and hope that it works. They didn't counter. Well, they kind of counter it this time. Sounds good. Uh, must be nice. As the kids say. I heard him say it. Who did they say it to? Did you get a haircut? No. God, you're looking, you're looking beautiful. Just beautiful. 
Oh, Pepper Talk question. Mike, can you put up the Pepper hat over your face so we can see what a Pepper-Human hybrid would look like? Yeah, I think I can arrange that. All right. There you go. Beautiful. Just, I'm on the camera. Just, just beautiful. Good? Yeah, you're looking gorgeous. Just gorgeous. MTS, MV, Envious MTG linked us Welcome to... Welcome to Farm Wisdom. Nice. It's a segment on the show that we do when people send in farm wisdom. I don't know what this is. What did they do? Oh, I just played this guy, I guess. All right. I'm Horse really... Bonologist. <laughs> oh, look, bribery again. That's good. Another Talrand? So then I can top deck an earthquake and kill everything and get a 4 4? That'd be gas. Please do that. I feel like they've learned their lesson this time. Oh, no, maybe not. Earthquake one time. Oh my god, it would be so backbreaking, dude. That's not it, unfortunately. Nor can we cast it. Nor can we cast it. Who's Norkin? My dad. <laughs> well, tell your dad I said hello, Michael. No. That's rude. Is the pepper hat going for those blinds, man? What blinds? The ones on the the door over there. Do me a favor. That door over there, don't oh, you know? Oh, and the actual out there? Yeah. The, the, oh my god. I he stopped. Him. Luckily. Got to spray him with the the hose. Did they just double that? Double. No, that was never mind. Don't worry about it. I don't know what the holdup is here, but uh, these Stanley tributes are. See again, this is from a comic, and they just I don't know. That's not really the same as like. Yep, flip that Jace. It's surreal to me to think that Stan Lee in 1962 when he created the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, um, he was older than I am, and that's pretty insane. Stunning? What was stunning? What did I miss? I, you know, this is there's a lot of shenanigans going on here. I think. I feel like we're dead, unless we top deck that earth. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> we got five mana here. Uh, Ugg biscuits. Ugg biscuits. Yeah, you know Ugg biscuits. America's favorite biscuit. I'm definitely bringing an earthquake or a hurricane now. Hurricane. It feels so hurricane. Hurricane. Get rid of uh Jace's ingenuity. You mean Sanctum? Yes. Jace's ingenuity is actually pretty good. It draws us three cards. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. What are some of your favorite movies to throw on to fall asleep to? If that's the only thing you would ever do, looking for a good. I actually don't. Yeah, I can't. Because I pay too much attention to the plot, so I can't really pay attention to things like that. Yeah, that doesn't work for me either. Because my brain actually won't shut off. It'll just listen to the movie, and I'll just be thinking about that. Mike's pepper transformation, it was stunning. I agree. He's such a beautiful child. Just beautiful. Mm. Look, we did it rupture spired this term. You did good. This is actually great because we can go turn three Phoenix, turn four Garrick, turn five Soul. Yeah, we have Earthquake Insurance. Earthquake Insurance is good. Oh, that's a good one too. Now we can actually go turn four Garrick, turn five Apex Brother if we hit one more land. Mm, yes, our Ugg Biscuits is big. No, go ahead. I dare you to force spike this. I dare you. I Cat. remove Soul. 
Oh, God. good. He messed up three of them now. That's cool. The, That's, the lid is open. I love, still doing it. I love having... I'm going to go shut that little door. Yep. I wanted to do that, and I keep forgetting to do it, so... I'm actually going to play Talrand here. We could play Garrick, but I think they'd probably counter it. So Talrand seems safer, especially if we got a Force Spike out of their hand. Yep, that was unfortunate. Well, now we're definitely going to... Uh, <clears throat> Looks like you only actually broke one. You mean in addition to the one that was already broken? Oh, there's already one broken? I mean, I don't know. Well, we can play around Force Spike here, which is super nice. And we're going to untap two lands here. Okay, take it easy. Am I on Third Street? You spend your whole life on Third Street. Do I still have a dog? Yeah, of course. Where, where would he go? <laughs> no, not anymore. I got rid of them. I only rent my dogs. All right, so they tapped out, huh? That's pretty cool. So, black, green. Do 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just untap these. Probably just gonna kill this guy, right? He goes to two, but then they don't have a, a thready boy on the board. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, hopefully they don't have a way to kill Garrick at two, but you know. What can you do? Oh, they do. Never never don't have it. Never don't have it. Like like you do. I still want to play around Force Spike here, so I'm going to actually untap two more. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, like I have no reason to play into a Force Spike at this point. <clears throat> Here's a question like, what is your favorite Stanley cameo in any future film? Doesn't have to be MCU exclusive. I, are there, I don't, that's actually tough. Cause there's so many, there's like 30 of them. So I can one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We can actually make two dudes here. That's pretty good. Green, green. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we only have seven. Actually, we can't do that, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> I thought we had more mana. I would just make a beast here. Yeah? Okay. I believe you. I mean, I'm pretty sure, actually, next turn, if we ultimate Garrick, attack with everything, and then Earthquake, they He's lose. He's dead, yeah. I ordered Mike B's green shirt also for good measure on a Hunter one as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Oh, he just won the game, I guess. All right. And 2-1 with uh, with Jake P's stipulation. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. And you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank If you're looking for 15% off, you can use my affiliate link. It is in the description. You also get free shipping and free returns. And it helps me out. It helps you out. And you can get some of the softest micromoto underwear, lounge pants, socks, tees, etc. Onesies. They have onesies. They're real comfortable. Check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for watching.